my name is Murtaza Qasmi. I'm, I'm in the 10th grade. And today I want to talk about more of the political side of the Islamic revolution of Iran and kind of look at America and the other Western world's influence, not only predating the revolution, but also following it in the years afterwards. America and its allies decided that they had enough of the 1979 Islamic revolution. They continued to place harsh sanctions on the country and deemed it as a terrorist state. But my question to you, brothers and sisters, is would you put sanctions on a country that you are not fearful of? Would you not put sanctions on a country that you are not fearful of? Because in the end of the day, what this message of sanctions on the country of Iran is, is the idea that it continues to remain as an enemy towards America and all of its allies. Because America has two end games in the, in the whole Middle East region, to support Israel and to support Saudi Arabia. And despite these sanctions continuing on the country of Iran, we have not only seen success on a foreign scale, but also seen success on a domestic scale. Allahu Akbar, <laughs> 